and DeAndre Hamilton. You are watching Turquoise Morning. We are on Market Street in Nassau, and we are going round the region. In Jamaica, a nation builder, cultural icon, and the fifth Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Edward Siaga, was remembered at a ceremony on Sunday, May 28th, and one of the highlights of the event was this tribute to the former Prime Minister. They tell me of a fire up in the sky, waiting for me when I die. Between the day you're born and when you die They never seem to hear even your cry So as sure as the sun will shine I'm gonna get my share now What's mine? And then the harder they come The harder they'll fall One and all On to Guyana now where the country on June 1st signed a Memorandum of Understanding MOU with the Dominican Republic to strengthen collaboration between both countries. We hear more about that partnership courtesy of the Department of Public Information of Guyana. Guyana and the Dominican Republic on Thursday signed three agreements to strengthen collaboration between the two countries, which included a Memorandum of Understanding MOU on cooperation in energy-related matters. The agreements encompass energy, agriculture, tourism, trade, information technology, ICT, infrastructure, and industry. The two nations agreed to collectively advocate for the growth of small developing states. This includes addressing challenges related to food and energy security, as well as the impact of climate change. In addition to the agreement on energy collaboration, the two nations signed an MOU for political consultation and an air services agreement, which will open the gateway for the Dominican aircraft Skycana to begin flying the Guyana route. The two presidents also agreed to establish a high-level working group to advance and monitor the various areas identified for cooperation. In the Bahamas on Thursday, June 8th, a historic meeting. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris came in and met with CARICOM leaders, and it was not only a dazzling event, but it managed to secure over $100 million in financing for regional countries. We established a network of Caribbean-based scientific experts to create new climate mitigation and adaptation methods. And in Jamaica, we are helping develop a national emergency commercial infrastructure and commu communications pardon, infrastructure. The United States supports the development of a multinational force to Haiti. And today I am pleased to announce $53.7 million in new humanitarian aid for Haiti. In addition, our administration will support the extension of Hope Help trade preferences for Haiti, which are due for renewal in 2025. Our highlight of what's happening in our Caribbean region now that we're all awake and out of that heavy, heavy mantle that was placed upon us as we tried to keep public health protected, to keep you and me protected as we minded the P's and Q's associated with COVID-19 and the coronavirus pandemic. Now it is officially declared over by the World Health Organization and activities have revived throughout the region and they are in full swing. So we're happy to always bring them to you right here on Turquoise Morning, a celebration of you. Okay, settle down, settle down. Children, I said to quiet down. Everyone should be at their desk. Okay, so who wants their name to go on the board for being naughty? No who wants their name to go on the board over here for being nice? Yeah. And we all know what nice little girls and boys yeah. get. Now that's how you master the class. Remember, shouting may signal that you are out of control, but rewarding good behavior in the open should be a big deal in your classroom. You will find it's a great tool as you manage your super energetic toddlers. A message from the UK Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, the Turks and Caicos Islands Ministry of Education, and UNICEF. <laughs> 